How could my mother tell him about this town of bloodthirsty lunatics? I still can't believe he would do this. It's not like him. Just keep your guard up. There's going to be land monsters everywhere. Ah! Ah! Oh, no! Oh, no! Not me! Today! Ow, land ow, monster! Ow, ow. It's me! Oh, what? You scared the scales off of me! Jeez, <gasps> you're strong. I'm sorry, I'm just a little on edge. No, I needed that. It, it really woke me up. Wow, we look horrifying. Ugh, gross. Come on, let's find our son. <gasps> that was hard to watch. You, uh, coming? We do not go anywhere near the surface. Got it? Everything good is above the surface. Walking. Air! <gasps> the sky, clouds, the sun. Whoa, don't look at it. Just kidding. Definitely look at it. <laughs> Have you no, 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 no. Hey, little heads! <laughs> Someone got lucky today. Hmm? Hey, leave them alone. Hop on. Go start a club for losers. <laughs> My name is Giulia Marcovaldo. We underdogs have to look out for each other. What's under the dogs? <laughs> this is my dad. What do you think he kills with those? Anything that swims. Yeah. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Your life is so much cooler than mine. There's a million things you think you can't do. All you need is a chance to try. Woo! Something's fishy with you two. Ooh. This is too dangerous. Ah, Lucius! Ah! I know your problem. You got a Bruno in your head. A Bruno? Say, silencio Bruno. Silencio Bruno. Louder. Silencio Bruno. Silencio Bruno. Silencio Bruno. Silencio Bruno. Can you still hear him? Nope, just you. Good. Now hang on. You do it now. Just say the thing. What's wrong with you, stupid <gasps> Luca is a story of friendships that are authentic and only found around a certain age. We underdogs have to look out for each other, right? Underdogs! I love this moment in a young person's life, having someone push you out of your comfort zone to discover yourself. There's a certain innocence to this. It's really kind of beautiful. Come on! I had the luck of meeting my best friend Alberto when I was 11. He had a ton of passion and was consciously testing his own fears. Who's holding the ramp? The turtle! And I wonder if I would have had the courage to go and chase my career in animation had I not met my best friend. I really loved watching the friendship between Luca, Julia, and Alberto. I'm hoping that it will bring back a lot of memories for people of summers when they were kids. My birthday's in the summer, so a lot of really, really good childhood memories are of summertime, and it was always a pool party. Let's go swim. I guess that's how humans swim? Ugh, that's embarrassing. Some kids go away to camp, and you're like, where are my dogs at? But then the key ones that are in town, they like to party. These are the friendships that teach us lessons. Build your self-esteem, and you have like the sense of belonging. I got friends that believe in me, who push me. Like I would tell them an idea that I have, and they'd be like, make it, do it. This movie is the perfect example of that. Take me, gravity! These friendships that help us find ourselves. That is really at the heart of the story of Luca. Yeah! Imagine a world where summer isn't just a season, yeah! but a state of mind. In Luca, we want to take you to this wonderful, nostalgic look on Italian summers. Classic human town. Pretty cool, right? Luca is about these two sea monsters, and they experience the world outside the water. Have you ever gone to the human town? Most of the story on land is in a fictional place called Porto Rosso. It just sounds nice, doesn't it? Porto Rosso. Porto Rosso. Porto Rosso. Porto Rosso. When people dream of going on a perfect vacation, mm. that's 
literally what Puerto Rosso is. Come on, I'll show you some more stuff. Pixar has a history of wanting to make our films feel authentic, and so part of that is doing research. Taking the team to Italy was such a pleasure. Promise you told me everything you see! Sorry, too much? <laughs> Never! Our Pixar research trips make us look like very odd tourists because we're looking at the kind of details that we're trying to capture. We want it to be like a postcard you can jump into and really feel immersed by. The laundry in the wind, kids having watermelon, and people having their espresso. Espresso! <laughs> I love Miyazaki's movies. The texture, the details, the way he draws has been a great inspiration for me. When I saw Enrico's short La Luna, he calls our attention to things around us that are beautiful. I love that this film is an expansion of that feeling. It's so beautiful. Yes, we need it. Luca will, without a doubt, transport you to this vibrant world. <laughs> Watching it, I felt like I was there. Wow. <laughs> Makes me want to move to Italy. I think we should all live there. Sign me up for that, like, right now. Yeah! This is gonna be the best summer ever. Oh.